Hearing stories about the victim's life and how they hadn't gone back to China, that point specifically hits home. You're scared of us and we're scared of you. That's not a good community. We need to work together and not be scared of each other. I think this shooting incident has really brought a lot of community members together. The vigil, the streets were like flooded with Chinese community members. I'm just wondering what, what that will lead to. <laughs> I feel very scared walking around in Chinatown after the shooting. A lot of people stare at me. It was one time me and uh, my friend was in a library. This old lady came up to me and she stopped and she stared. Her eyes followed me and she looked like she was frightened of me as if I was like a monster. A place that I once felt comfortable was like now like this place where I didn't <laughs> feel as comfortable. Just because one person did something doesn't represent the entire group of people. The racial tensions that already exist are just heightened because of that. I think that that's kind of unfair to put all that on like one group of people and demonize all of us. A lot of people in the community have black educators and black caretakers, right? And obviously they're not the same people who are committing crimes in the community. We made a poster series of all of these um, black heroes and we posted it in businesses and social services agencies, senior homes, like um, on the streets all across Chinatown. And I think that just having people see and understand and learn about black people in their community is very eye-opening actually for a lot of people. We are also having community language workshops to tackle the issue of anti-blackness because language barrier is a big difference between people and it almost makes the other group seem so foreign and inaccessible. The hope there is to bring people together and have them acknowledge this is another human being that I can talk to and connect with. When I look at what the Chinese people are advocating for, it's just like for people to carry more guns, to learn about shooting. Those things are very personal. They don't address the larger structural reasons. Every time I see a, a group of black boys and girls, like I am happy they're walking in packs, but at the same time, I feel sad and scared because I'm like, is people gonna see this as a threat and try to attack them now? So how can black people feel safe in this community as well? The racial trauma, and everything is so deeply rooted and so entrenched. If you think about all the structural reasons behind that, it's like, well, what are the job prospects like for this person? And like, what was their education like? Like, were there resources? There actually aren't a lot of resources. The purpose of all of this is to foster connection, understanding, solidarity between black people and Chinese people so that we can change um, the structural inequities that um, faces us all.